All right, so you got that old air blown inflatable, it just won't blow up anymore. Um, so you gotta throw it away, unless of course you're a jerry rigger. Uh, so let's do this. So welcome to another episode of the Jerry Rigger channel. Um, today I've got a one of these air blown inflatables um, that no longer will inflate. Um, the motor still seems good. Uh, it's got a pretty good, strong, steady motor. Uh, you know, I see a lot of people saying that all oh, these go, these are bad, and you know, chances are if it's still moving and you're not hearing any noise, then it's probably okay. Now you could get a stronger motor, um, which would help make up for the loss of air you're getting through the um, through the material. Now, I mean, you see on this material, it's actually. On one side of it, it's actually kind of faded, and that's where the sunlight was hitting in this. Even you kind of able to see it through the back side, but um, you can see where it's definitely darker and um, lighter in spots. But um, so my theory is that you know just over time, um, the material has lost its ability to hold air. Um, so I was trying to think what I could do, what I could spray on here. Or, you know, it would be nice if we could just soak this thing and turn on the blower and let it dry and um, it would seal up, but I couldn't really come up with anything. This is a six foot tall inflatable. Um, I'm gonna be using a twin mattress bag and uh, some elastic. I've already flipped it inside out and I've disconnected the light. Um, so I found the top center of the bag. I'm gonna puncture a hole, just a small hole through there. And I'm gonna feed the string that holds the light through that small hole. Once I get that fed through, up to the top. So I'm going to take this uh, elastic and wrap it around it. Tie it tight. Now, from the inside of the bag, I'll go ahead and reconnect the light to the string. Luckily this has a, an upper blower, so that's going to make it, or a, a blower that sticks up, that's going to make it real easy for me to just wrap a piece of the elastic around 
plastic around it. Like that. Wrap around good. I want to make sure I get the whole bottom of the bag. Now, we have to put this thing back inside out. All right, so I did uh, pull the bag up into the head a little bit to make sure that um, it got all the way to the top because I did try to blow it up previously and uh, everything blew up but the head. Um, so I pulled the bag up into the head a little bit extra. Um, so we'll go ahead and try it and see how it works. All right, so now it's starting to blow up the head or the top pumpkin is what I'm calling the head. All over because I don't have it attached to anything. Look at that. In the head, I mean, you can still, still tell the head's got a little bit of, you know, it's not really fully blown into the head, but I think it's good enough. We'll call it good. All right. So thanks for watching the Jerry Rigger channel. See you on the next one. Oh, and if I helped you, please help me by liking and subscribing. All right, there you go. Standing up out there next to the other ones. Uh, looks pretty good. You know, you can see a little bit of the wrinkles in the bag, but uh, not bad, not bad at all. And uh, it's standing up nice and straight again. Again, thanks for watching the Jerry Rigger channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If I helped you, help me. And uh, we can we can do this.